So we'll get started. Um, Eden will introduce herself uh, later. My name's Roger Green. I'm the founder of the Academy Healing Nutrition, and we go back uh, 40 years now. And uh, essentially, I put this curriculum together based on uh, my work with uh, Chinese medicine. Before that was uh, the macrobiotic movement in, in, the, in London. And uh, my work as a health counselor in Sydney, Australia. And also my uh, early investigations into cultures of longevity, primarily through the writings of uh, Weston Price. And uh, so essentially, uh, along with Ayurvedic, uh, I've put together a curriculum that is time-tested uh, in the sense that we're drawing on the energetics uh, of Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic and the, you know, understanding the vibrational world that we live in and this extraordinary knowledge over six to 7,000 years of empirical knowledge about how the body works in relationship to the environment and the cosmos etc. And the work of uh, Western Price was, uh, not many people were studying that 40 years ago, but I found his work uh, incredible because basically this was a guy that in the 1920s and 30s where you could still uh, visit cultures of longevity, he documented it really, really well. And he, he ended up every summer visiting uh, about uh, 20 cultures of longevity. And anyway, he documented it very, very well. And I've put those principles into this uh, curriculum because that's time tested. These people lived well over, you know, 100. They had healthy teeth because he was a dentist. Uh, they didn't have degenerative disease, etc. So right from the start, this curriculum had no dogma to it. It was just looking at the energetics and, uh, you know, traditional uh, aspects of uh, diet, cultural dietary aspects, etc. But along with traditional Chinese medicine, we're able to bring in the curative side. So there's two aspects. There's the preventive side with food as medicine, and there's also the curative side. So is um, that... Uh, in Chinese medicine, we have these powerful herbs of longevity. They're called tonic herbs. And it's very much like a, a dying art now that uh, people uh, don't really know how to cook with these herbs, right? And that really is one of the secrets to longevity. It's not just food, but it's also learning how to use these powerful herbs that we call these tonic herbs that work on the five elements of the body, work on the blood and the chi of the body, work on the balance of yin and yang on the body. And it creates what we call radiant health. So there's a theme to this curriculum where we say, we're gonna train you to be your own doctor. So rather than following all the different trends that are coming in and information on you know, this, that, and the other, and you know, take this little speck here and it's gonna improve this, that, and the other, and, and people generally get uh, very overloaded and very confused with this. Our curriculum is based on really you mastering your relationship to food, the environment, and your personal constitution. An aspect of this course, one of the modules is called health assessment, where we go into you understanding all these signs and symptoms and these cultural, uh, sorry, constitutional differences so that you really, really start to uh, get in touch with your own constitution. Because holistic medicine really is about treating the constitution, keeping that constitution strong so you have a long, healthy life without any disease, no cancer, no di diabetes, and, and so forth. Right? And you know the culture that we live in now, like one in three people, or in fact, somebody said the other day, it's more like one in two people now getting cancer. And of course, heart, heart disease is very close, one in three. Um, one in five people have uh, diabetes or heading towards diabetes, one in seven uh, respiratory problems and so forth. So we really live in a very, very uh, uh, <laughs> sick society. So I've devoted my last 40 years to setting up curriculum, setting up health centers. I've actually set up 
uh, several health centers and I've devoted my life to just educating people around these simple principles, how to bring these simple principles uh, into your life so that you can start to en enjoy food, not have any fear of food, start to really strengthen your, your energy levels, start to um, improve your emotional and psychological life, uh, and, uh, and, and, but learning these practical skills, right? So our curriculum is based on 10 modules spaced over 10 months. So it's a module per month. And essentially, we alternate between theory and philosophy and uh, cooking classes, right? And we build you up from the beginning right through to quite an advanced level. So we start with you understanding real food, right? <laughs> and understanding all the, uh, we study all of the categories of food, right? As I said, this, this is a curriculum that has no dogma. It's about freedom, right? and truth about what is um, you know, uh, good for the human frame and your personal uh, uh, medicine. So um, we start you with you know, uh, essentially understanding really gourmet, like whole food cooking, and uh, all, you'll be in, introduced to a whole new range of uh, ingredients. And we go through you know, what are the appropriate fats and oils and, and all of that. For instance, to just to give you an idea, of just that one aspect there. 40 years ago, I was saying that the low fat diet is an, uh, a, a very, very much a disadvantage to the human race because there's no proof of that. It was never ever done before because you just simply have to look at cultures of longevity and what they ate and they had high quality fats and oils. And also in Chinese medicine, fats and oils build up the yin, the substance or the jing which is the basis to your uh, hormonal life and your longevity. So 40 years ago, I was introducing people to, no, you should be eating, uh, you know, uh, using coconut uh, oil and using our traditional oils and get rid of those vegetable oils. So I was saying that uh, 40 years ago, <laughs> I got a lot of flack from everybody, you know, the doctors and the other uh, health practitioners who are totally obsessed and brainwashed with this, uh, you know, low fat diet and using vegetable uh, oils, right? And um, so we've been sort of leading the way with this for the last 40 years. And finally, everybody's catching up with us. Now, we also lead the way with superfoods. Now, there's a whole lot of superfoods coming in, but people don't understand the energetics. So we have a whole curriculum, uh, sorry, a whole module based on just you understanding all the superfoods and how to make the elixirs and how to understand the jing and the chi and the blood and the spirit of the body, right? So it's not just like, yes, it's full of antioxidants and it's full of magnesium. It's really looking at the energetics. Also things like warming and cooling and how to relate to the summertime heat and how to relate to the uh, wintertime cold. And we really get into the five elements, which is this beautiful um, philosophy of mind, body, and spirits, the way we can connect everything is through these associations of the organs and tastes and cooking styles and seasons, right? So there's some really rich material here backed up with practical cooking classes. So, you know, quite frankly, the reason why I've um, uh, built cooking schools, I've run cooking schools on the back of a truck in the, <laughs> in the middle of the highway, <laughs> you know, uh, is because unless people are around really experienced chefs, there's a tendency for information, especially around food, because food is the greatest habit that you've got. You learned that right up to the age of seven to 10, it's very deeply ingrained in you, those sort of patterns and those emotions around uh, food from your parents and your family and society and TV and, and all of this. So it's a, a little bit of unraveling and you really need to have a good soul group to work with and a good mentor and, and, and chefs that are just phenomenal who show you how to put all these ingredients and make really beautiful, inspiring, uh, tasty food. So I've always been a little crazy. I have insisted on running practical cooking classes to back this up. Now, most um, nutritional uh, schools, they, they never do that. 
you know, that you don't even see a, a herb or a real piece of food it's, it, in class. It's just all uh, theory. And a lot of Western uh, theory is very, very left brain. And, you know, you analyze what a vitamin C is and, and so forth, which is very, very interesting. But I always say you can read about that. So this curriculum is very, very um, experiential in that sense. So we have some wonderful um, uh, faculty members, you know, people that I've worked with for the last 15 years. So for instance, we have Inga Bailinkina. She's an incredible chef, uh, originally from Russia, has now lived in uh, New York for the last 20 years, studied with us. She was a student with us uh, first and then went on to become one of our um, international teachers. So she takes you through the first three uh, cooking modules. Then we have uh, uh, Nam Singh. Now Nam Singh is uh, totally unique. Uh, I've been around uh, whole food chefs for uh, decades, but Nam Singh's got this incredible um, background. He, he's African-American, but he actually grew up in Taiwan in a Taoist monastery. And his passion is around food and cooking with the herbs. So he does a Chinatown tour with you. And uh, he also shows you how to bring in these powerful tonic herbs, which are very, very economical, right? You just buy them, you know, either online or, and so you, you, you learn how to make some soups and broths and stocks, etc. And certain dishes that, for instance, for women's health, you know, this whole idea of how to smooth the, the blood action and build up um, blood and for men's health, how to sort of develop the chi and the yang energy, et cetera. So um, it's a little bit of uh, grandma's old fashioned cooking there that is a dying art. Uh, you know, Chinese people, modern Chinese people don't even uh, uh, know these herbs anymore. Right? Now it's not as if we're teaching Chinese cooking. Uh, it, this is adapted to our own culture and there's a whole, you know, you look, we go through dozens of recipes with you and all the energetics. Right? Um, so we have Eden, who, who you'll be uh, uh, meeting soon. And Eden, Eden does the business training, which is the very, very last uh, module in this training. Because essentially it is about you becoming future leaders, people with integrity, with knowledge, with practical skills, who can take people off this suffering modern diet that people are on that's creating absolute havoc uh, everywhere into a more uh, holistic uh, lifestyle approach and pace seeing them through the uh, longevity diet which is this general term to bring in all of these sort of uh, time proven sort of um, yeah, energetics and ingredients and cooking styles and, and, and so forth. We also have a module on the cutting edge uh, uh, supplements um, that we do. So it's not just like looking at traditional aspects and whole food cooking, etc. In fact, we've been leading the world in some of the research around the telomeres. We have a product called the Telestep and also the microbiome. We've been working with some of the world um, re, uh, leading researchers with, with this. So there's a weekend there that I take you through uh, the clinically proven supplements, but this is not a curriculum around supplements, right? This is just like a little add on. We get that foundation strong first, then when you bring in the tonic herbs, then you bring in the supplements at the top, right? I do feel it's necessary. Now, a lot of nutritional courses are just about supplements. <laughs> you, they, students come out and they still don't know what to make for breakfast. You know, quite frankly, you could do a five-year course in a lot of these you know, nutritional trainings and you still haven't shown how to make a delicious breakfast or lunch or noodle broth or stock. Or, you know, it's uh, quite interesting for me you know, in that sense. Right? One, of, one of the greatest compliments I had when I was doing a the, the weekend training, I had a lady with a PhD in nutrition. And, uh, she, and she said after the training, Roger, I've learned more on your weekend than I have in several years of study. Because <laughs> she was still confused about what she should eat for breakfast, right? So our students come out really clear, strong, your intuition starts to fire up, 
you, uh, you know, and you, be, you can, uh, if you want, you can take this into a career, uh, into a, a practice in the world. Now, everybody's doing this training to improve their health and their consciousness. That's the ground uh, for everybody, right? To develop your personal uh, consciousness, your awareness, your sensitivity, and also to work on some of these health issues that you might have, right? And we're very, very successful with that. You know, we've had people who have had brain cancer and diabetes, all sorts of things. And after one year, it takes, it takes you know, <laughs> you got to go get serious around this. This is something you, you, know, you eat and drink every three times, if not more, uh, in your life every day. And I, I can't understand why people don't take this more seriously and get into studying this. I, I did 45 years ago. I went, oh, no, I need to really understand what's going on here, right? Uh, it's very, very important. So this is a 10-month uh, training uh, and, and I think that's the sort of minimum that you need to start to bring in more positive patterning and to tweak some of those daily habits, daily rituals, you know, into like where you shop, how do you spend your hard earned money, you know, uh, and, and techniques. We show you how to make this time efficient and how to make food tasty, right? So these are very, very important practical foundational skills that you need for the rest of your life, right? Now, uh, we also have Leifa Hathaday. Leifa Hathaday is a well-known um, international author and one of the pioneers of uh, Ayurvedic and Asian health secrets. She's uh, the author of Asian health secrets or it's been redone into um, um, uh, herb, uh, karma herbs. And uh, she does the weekend on uh, Ayurvedic training and also understanding not only the foods and the herbs, but also the constitutional aspects, the doshas. You might have heard of uh, kapha and bitter uh, and, and butter and so forth. And um, uh, it's also some cooking classes uh, with Leafa. So she introduces some herbs, and then th then she'll show you how to make a really uh, several dishes over that weekend. How to integrate it so you get to taste it and eat it and so forth so that's what's made our curriculum uh, very inspiring for our, our students right? so um now obviously in new york at the moment everything is closed down uh you're aware that where this curriculum is now going to go live on live on zoom so we start we'll be following the schedule that we normally uh, have and uh, it starts in that second weekend of October. We will be on New York time so, so that we've adjusted it a little bit. We'll start at 10 o'clock and go to 5 o'clock. Normally we start at 9.30 but because everybody doesn't have to travel and, and, and so forth. So New York is closed down until the end of this year. So our first three modules, October, uh, November and December, are going to be live so we have everybody up and going and we have you know where you'll get to meet everybody online we have an incredible uh, online uh, classroom we have really amazing resource material unique to this training by the way um, and uh, now the cooking class you might be sort of asking well how are we how are we going to do the cooking classes right well We've actually succeeded in this because we actually started our London curriculum earlier on this year in March, and suddenly Inga wasn't able to, nor was I, able to go to London to teach. So we did it live, and it worked really, really well. The students uh, loved it. And uh, Inga uh, did a live cooking class, and it worked really, really well. In fact, it was quite interesting, guys, because normally our cooking classes are what we call demonstration style. It's like running a five-star restaurant, but it's demonstration style in the sense that we've done a little bit of prep the night before. We lay everything out. We got our burners. We got all our ingredients. You're sitting there as an audience, and Inga is able to talk a lot as well as she has some assistance where she pre prepares several dishes over that weekend and you get to eat it, 
you get to taste it and eat it and then you go oh wow you know now i know why i'm doing this curriculum right now what we've done is Inga has set it up so that you we email you a list of uh you'll get the recipes and you'll get a list of ingredients and in your own kitchen now this is optional you don't have to do it this way but a lot of the students did it and it was a lot of fun where they actually followed Inga step by step in preparing some of these dishes we, we're not going to do all of them that way but we did uh you know three to four of them like two a day where you are actually in your kitchen you can see her live she's talking about you know uh put this together and da 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 and this is the way you do this that and the other and it actually worked really really well because you're now an active um participant in that experience of getting that into your muscles and your bones and your consciousness of like you know how to work with all of these new ingredients and understand the energetics and how it relates to your health and you know the environment and all sorts of things so so it's actually been working pretty well so that's the way we're going to be doing this uh training and then in the new year we just have to take it as it comes if new york opens up then the we'll be following the same schedule you'll be up to module four in uh january and module five in february etc and it goes all the way through to june and uh if it hasn't opened up then we just have to keep going with our online uh, community our online uh, training you know so it's going to work well for you guys now the other thing is because we're in the situation this year where we can't be offering now in-house training you can always come to any future in-house training that one presumes by october next year <laughs> that we're kind of back to normal right now in the meantime guys we have done a, a couple of webinars uh if you have missed those webinars we've done some webinars on how to strengthen your immune system what foods what herbs we've done uh when this first started back in march uh, i got very very active and i pretty much did two to three and i pretty much covered it uh so you could always email the school and ask if you can't find them up on our youtube you know if you were to google academy healing nutrition covid or something like that you'll probably be able to find them if you can't find them give us an email some of the things you can do in the meantime to just gain that confidence our students have no worry i don't have any worry about covid right it just doesn't enter our consciousness because one of the themes of this curriculum is how to make your immune system strong right our human immune system is phenomenal it's very intelligent it adapts it upgrades itself we've had hundreds of pandemics hundreds and hundreds of them historically and the way our immune system adapts to that is that it 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 creates it creates out of its own intelligence its immunity now we you can assist that by just doing a few simple things and in a nutshell we've been training people in the medicinal mushrooms from chinese medicine for the last 40 years so you you learn how to cook with them as well you can you know, but you can just buy them as some supplements uh or as uh, some teachers for instance uh, there's a company called dragonherbs.com that I highly recommend ron tear garden dear friend uh very similar background to me been promoting uh daoist um energetic views uh, of food and medicine and healing etc and uh but even if you go to your local store and they have like a medicinal mushroom blend or lion's mane or just start to even cook with some shiitake mushrooms and some kombu in your stocks kombu is a seaweed and it's full of minerals so there's two things that your immune system really really needs and that is a minerally rich diet right which is what the longevity diet is it's an enzyme rich diet a minerally rich diet right and it needs these polysaccharides that you get well better better glucans that you get from the medicinal mushrooms right so start adding that into your diet start alkalizing your diet a little bit avoid all of the extremes right uh so if you're not going to be doing our training that's a little bit of advice to just get you over this curve that 
our society is going through at the moment so that you can just look after your, your health and your family's health and feel secure and not be fearful or, you know, going uh, around, uh, around the loop, <laughs> so to speak. So we've got a little bit of a presentation here that I'm going to uh, just quickly go through and, and share with you. Um, let's have a look here. Just get it up to um, full screen. There we go. Let's see if we can uh, take it back to the beginning here. I'm aware of our time. We did say that this was going to go for about an hour. Now, so our holistic health uh, coaching course and getting you really, really embedded in the, the, the principles and guidelines of the longevity diet, but obviously also learning about, remember, how to be your own doctor how to do um, home remedies, how, how, how to do some simple exercises and uh, compressors, you know, which is in our Barefoot Doctor weekend, right? uh, how to learn about the tonic herbs, uh, gourmet whole food cooking styles, a whole range of ingredients. Remember, it's no dogma here. Although I always say if you're vegetarian, we're gonna show you how to do it better. And if you're vegan, we're going to show you how to do it better, and if you're a meat eater, we're going to show you how to do it how to do it better. That's one of our war cries. You know? So we're really really good at that. You know, so as you know, the vegan diet could be you know sometimes a little bit uh, cooling for people. It's what we call a more yin diet, right? Uh, so there's things you know there's a lot of pitfalls with some of these other uh, approaches. So we, we have to take you through that and we'll show you how you can plug some of those leaks, right? So, um, uh, yes, so you're getting to know me now here, Roger Green, that's me, thank you. Yeah. And so Eden uh, put this presentation together just um, yesterday. Uh, based on uh, what she kind of also experienced out of the uh, curriculum. And, you know, there is this strong thing to be a free person and to be your own master around your own health, especially around healing and using food as medicine. So these principles, the experience that you get out of this curriculum will be there for the rest of your life. You're integrated into your uh, children's life, your family, your neighbors, et cetera. And these themes are eternal. They don't change, right? <laughs> There's a lot of truth to what we've been uh, saying for the last 40 years. So it is about self-mastery, right? ultimately. <clears throat> and, you know, where we start with that is to have uh, a sense of um, open-mindedness, uh, let's let go of some of our preconceived ideas around um, uh, food. Uh, and our students come to us with a real you know, desire that they want to heal themselves, take control, 120% responsibility of their own health. Right? So there, there is a certain mental attitude that's required with that. And generally, it's, it's just to be open-minded and uh, to start to think for yourself and to experiment with these things so that you can master it yourself. So there's no dogma, right? You, it starts to come from a more deeper place. Right? And if you were to define what health is, it's your ability to be able to adapt to all the changing circumstances around us. So work and uh, seasons and your own personal health dynamics. So, uh, you know, we bring in uh, lifestyle aspects, of course, things like uh, uh, deep sleep, uh, all of these factors. It's a holistic approach. But one of the key words for that is your ability to adapt. And we have in our uh, curriculum a, 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 like a philosophy around change or adaption. And that's you learning the yin and yang principle because this universe that we live in is totally governed by yin and yang energies, right? Which we go into, you know, you mastering them psychologically. But we also back it up with you learning these incredible, powerful, what we call adaptive 
uh, adaptogens, uh, herbal remedies, right? So they're very, very powerful in the body for you to adapt, to biologically start to adapt to all of these uh, different circumstances in our life. So that really is the definition of, of health. And what you eat, so food is your blood. So basically through you selecting food from your environment and that's where it all starts, you know, how, how to shop, you know, the resources around, uh, where to spend your hard earned money, all of that. We take you through all of that. And then uh, we take you through this theme of strengthening your digestive system. It's called the school of the stomach and spleen. It's a 5,000 year old tradition from Chinese medicine, but other cultures have this as well, because you've got to transform those raw components of food into red blood cells, which are you know, generally yang in nature. Right? So there's, there's a transformational process from food to blood. And we call that the art of cooking, how to get get the taste, the, the, the ingredients, the different vegetables, proteins, carbohydrates, etc., into a digestible form and how to strengthen that digestion so you can assimilate your food and create uh, stronger blood because that is where the healing starts. As soon as you start to change your, your uh, uh, food direction, your chemistry, your blood chemistry starts to change and it's the blood that is now feeding your organs, your immune system and your thoughts and feelings. So that's the, that's the sort of the outside to the inside. The catalyst for all of that is your selection of food and your ability to be able to uh, uh, cook with it so that it's this, you can build up the blood, strengthen the blood, and that's where all the healing starts. That's how people recover from cancer, diabetes, uh, respiratory problems, uh, and so forth, right? As simple as that food becomes your blood, right? And of course, we'll go into sort of acid and alkaline dynamics, etc. right? There's the wonderful mind, body, and spirit connection. And we, you, we take a, um, a Chinese medicine or Taoist approach and an Ayurvedic approach to that because they're the ones that really, really mastered the idea of the environment and the cosmic energies, et cetera, and how that is interchanging with our physical energies. For instance, the five element theory starts to relate certain emotional aspects to the health of your organs. For instance, when your liver gets too taxed, you start to experience anger and heat and eye problems and headaches and all sorts of things, right? When your kidneys start to get weak, you have a lack of willpower. So we, rather than our emotional and psychological life being totally detached from our physical being, we bring all of that back into a whole that you can study. So it's called the mind-body connection. So you really, really get uh, a, a grips of that in our, our curriculum. And of course, we are talking about, you know, uh, developing what we call a lifestyle, uh, like a, uh, there's different terms that I sometimes use for that, an addictive free lifestyle. You know, now we're into the joy de vie. We're into enjoying life at its fullest. Uh, we also understand moderation, right? So, um, but you know, we touch on aspects of, you know, uh, how to clean up your act so that you can take control of these things that you can take control of your home environment, sleeping, uh, the quality of your clothes, uh, attitude in terms of lifestyle, uh, and so forth, right? And really, guys, the fun thing about this curriculum is uh, uh, getting new friends from all over the world, uh, having, you know, we've, we've created a su supportive environment for you. And then in the future, you can also be uh, meeting people. Uh, very, very important. I call this um, finding your soul group. Human beings are social creatures. We're soul creatures. We need each other's input and support and ideas and questions and critiques as well, right? And uh, that's what makes a supportive environment for you to go about in an exciting way to make these new changes in your life. Because it, 
and, that, and then there's not hardly any resistance, you know, because it's just all fun and new ideas and new influences. And you start to feel like they start to just push out some of the negative patterning that you had. And it's all just, you know, quite natural. You, know, you don't have to have this like discipline and willpower to do this kind of training. It's all, it's just a, like a flow and an interchange that happens, right? And it's fun. And so we create the um, environment for that. And you guys have some good mentors here, especially Inga. Uh, you, you're able to set up some time with Inga to go through, in, you know, after one or two months, you're able to go through any questions and personal aspects, you know, uh, in, the, in the training. So there is uh, mentoring backup as well. <clears throat> so, you know, for education is incredibly important, guys. Uh, I've touched on this before that, uh, you know, we, there's some serious study to be done here, right? And uh, this curriculum has some great resources. Uh, it's experiential at the same time as being academic. There's not too much um, demand on you in terms of uh, time. So it pretty much goes like this. Obviously, you have to be watching our uh, modules. Um, now, if you can't uh, get to one of our live weekends, we have that module pre-recorded as well. So you're always able to follow the flow of the curriculum, right? So for instance, if you can't make the November module with Inga on the first cooking class, you can, you just uh, ask for it and we can uh, supply that. Well, it's up in your virtual um, classroom anyway that you can watch, right? And we have a lot of great resource material there. So basically, we're asking you to read each module, just take one module at a time. So you view the module, and then you read the resource material, and then you're ready for the next module. But the important thing here is that you're applying those recipes. The main thing here is you're changing your ingredients, your recipes, your shopping, where you're spending your hard-earned money, and you're starting to you know, uh, cook at home. That's where you take your uh, power back, guys, is that you start to do some cooking at home. It doesn't have to be every night, but it does have to be, you know, within your patterning, it does have to happen, you know, for you to get the most out of this curriculum, right? So you'll be saving money in the long run. You'll be learning a whole new art, a whole new philosophy of life, right? But the emphasis is experiential in that sense that you you do start to apply. And just by, we're just asking you to repeat some of the recipes that you learned from Inga. That's all you need to do, you know, and uh, Nam Singh and uh, Lifa. That's all you need to do in this first year, right? And then you can take off, right? <laughs> right? So we have some wonderful resources there for you to study and some great, um, uh, some philosophy there from, uh, that I've written about from, you know, various traditions and uh, lots of recipes, etc. And as I've mentioned before, number eight, practical, you know, building up your practical skills for uh, success so that you, you don't have to develop a health problem. You can cure a, a health problem if you want to, right, naturally, right? And uh, so it's a great investment uh, for the long term, for sure. So we've got uh, 10 aspects here. Um, we're kind of starting to run out of time. I do want to hand it over to Eden soon. But as you can see, we're very much into nutrient-dense whole foods. We talk a lot about local, seasonal, organic, wild, the difference between domestic and wild. High-quality fats, guys, very, very important. So we go through all of the fats and oils and the whole range of that. Inga takes you through a whole program on fermented foods, right? And uh, broths. And uh, so her first weekend is completely kind of vegetarian style. Her second weekend, she uses uh, some fish, but there's other vegetable uh, dishes there. Her third weekend is more like the tonic rishi and hoshu wu and uh, cacao and how to make these superfood uh, Alexas for different um, uh, qualities of the three treasures. Remember, Jing, blood, and Shun. Right? Then Nam Singh on your fourth cooking class 
does use some animal products in his class, but not all of his uh, recipes. So we're actually covering all of the food groups, right? From vegan style, vegetarian style, fish and uh, stocks. Stocks is very, very important to understand and get you know, things like astragalus back into your, astragalus is the number one herb for your immune system. So add that to your list of things that you can do right now to strengthen that immune system, right? Astragalus, you just buy it online or at Chinatown and put one or two strips into your stock. It's phenomenal, the chemistry involved with astragalus. Uh, it's actually what the Telestep product uh, is based on, which starts to lengthen your telomeres, these little tentacles at the end of your uh, chromosomes. You might have heard about that, but 10 years ago, we were, we were researching that and developed uh, some products around that. Um, so yes, there's protocols on um, how to do intermittent fasting. That's something that we've also been talking about for, you know, uh, 40 years, how to integrate that into your lifestyle. And detox, fasting, cleansing protocols, Inga takes you through that, home remedies, barefoot doctor, some um, a bit of body work, massage, etc. And here we go, our online training. And starting in October, some of the pictures of some of our past students. So as I've mentioned, so Eden has kindly put this into a little summary here. So we, we're hosting live weekend seminars uh, following our schedule. And hopefully next year, uh, we can get some in-house training uh, happening again. But of course, you kind of like, once you're a student with us, you're a student of, uh, with us for life. And you, it's an open door policy. If you can get to any of the in-house trainings in the future, especially the cooking classes, because they're, they're more fun than my classes, right? Um, that, uh, you know, you're, you're perfectly welcome to come for no extra uh, fee. Then, uh, so we got the 10 modules. Um, perhaps in Eden will uh, take us through this a little bit. Oh, it is, uh, uh, you know, certified with the, what's called the AADP, uh, International Practitioners of Holistic Medicine, and so forth, right? You guys might have some questions around that, but um, now let's, here's the schedule. This is published um, up on our website. So you can see the flow is very much theory and philosophy, then practical class, theory and philosophy and practical class. That's a picture of the wonderful Nam Singh, uh, I've been in this game for over 40 years and I've never come across uh, somebody with this sort of incredible knowledge of how to cook with the Chinese herbs in the culinary arts. He's an absolute master at it. And, and he's uh, one of the pioneers of Chinese medicine in um, California. He lives in uh, California. Wonderful teacher. And you see the, uh, May A uh, uh, Leifer. Uh, does the training with us. So here we go. Uh, we start at 5,700, but there's a $500 dis dollar discount if you get your deposit in by the end of this month. By attending this on uh, online Zoom orientation, you get another $300 off. And if you're paying in full, you'll get another $500 off, right? So if you get your act together by the 31st of August, you can do some good uh, saving. Otherwise you pay a deposit and then uh, beginning October, there'll be 10 monthly payments. So we just work out uh, what discounts you get and then we divide it up into 10 and then you just uh, pay it off as the course goes along. Basically, you can get it down to 430 a month. Uh, up on our website, we've got uh, some wonderful testimonials from our past students that you can uh, read up here. Kevin was uh, just our recent um, student last year. Uh, for uh, a long, long time, uh, he suffered from migraine headaches, big time. 
right? Well, gone. Once he understood the dynamics of food and warming, cooling, how to build up the blood more so that the liver doesn't get hot. The liver controls uh, the blood and the brain, etc. So he's integrated that and he's, uh, he started to master his own health along with all of our students. Uh, Fleur, you know, for instance, we even get people who are very quite, sometimes quite famous nutritionists. She's very famous in London, but her background was completely in the Western nutrition, right? That was her training. And she didn't understand yin and yang, warming, cooling, you know, the five elements, how foods relate to the spleen, the stomach, the kidneys, uh, and all of these other dynamics. She didn't know about how you can simply get some Chinese uh, tonic herbs to build up your cheese. She didn't know much about the uh, medicinal mushrooms, you know. So that's somebody with um, a very, very um, well-known, popular, uh, London-based uh, uh, Western trained nutritionists getting a lot out of our program. Right? Uh, uh, Nikki, Nikki now runs a very, very successful um, consultation practice in New York City, very corporate style. And uh, she has, she employs several uh, uh, consultants to uh, help her in her uh, business. Right? And she's a past. Um, uh, graduate from this uh, training program. So is Kelsey. Kelsey's doing really, really well with her uh, business practice. So there you go. Ready to join us this October? So let's just stop the share screen here and let's see if we can get Eden up. <clears throat> Asked to unmute, maybe. Uh. Hi there. <laughs> uh, Roger, thank you for that beautiful presentation. I think you covered everything, which is great. Um, you're pretty practiced at this at this point. <laughs> um, but what we would love to do now with our remaining 11 minutes of time is just open up the floor. I wish we could see your faces. I'm sorry uh, for not setting it up properly in Zoom. Luckily, I won't be the one who's doing that for your classes. Um, but if you do have a question, if you could just pop into the chat, um, we'll have a go at answering your questions. Roger, can you see there's, um, I see David Ring went ahead and um, gave a, it's more of a comment, but thank you. David. Sounds like, okay, you want me to read it out or just does everybody see the chat window, Eden? That's a really good question. So maybe, maybe you could go ahead and read it out and respond. <laughs> uh, this is from David. Hi, Roger. You have given this a lot of thought and it sounds like you have packed a lot, uh, a lot of value into the educational practice. I'm coming from another direction and looking at going for a variation of Qigong, which is a pathway to learning and how to live entirely on your chi. Uh, that's good, David. Um, but at the same time, you know, you you do a um, qi gong practice. But in ch Chinese medicine, there's a theme called the eight rays of traditional Chinese medicine. So we have food as medicine, we have herbs as medicine, we have massage, acupuncture, uh, feng shui, meditation, martial arts, which is a a a, a river of um, um, a pathway that you're very, very keen on studying at the moment. But if you really want that holistic approach, it's important in a way, we learn them all, right? I used to have a curriculum where we actually had all of that. I ran a diploma course in Shiatsu. We integrated the acupuncture. Uh, I was a, a world pioneer in classical feng shui 20 odd years ago. And so we actually had all of the eight rays up. The point I'm getting at, that's great, do that, but complement it with uh, really learning the, the, the food and the herbs, because if you want your chi to develop in martial arts, you've got to know the tonic herbs and, and the foods to achieve that. So there's a complementary there. So I highly recommend that you do both, right? 
just to jump in really quickly, um, for those of you who are interested, uh, there, there's so much that's covered in this course. And one thing that I really enjoyed was that, um, you know, when we have the in-person classes, but we also have, we'll be able to kind of communicate this over Zoom. But in the in-person classes, um, we're able to actually learn a little bit of shiatsu massage from Roger and also just some basic Qigong techniques. And what I can say is that, you know, the first year and a half of taking the course, I was really, really deep in the food, just, just the food and the recipes and just going really, really deep there. And now after, I don't know, it's been three, four years, I'm really into Qigong now. Um, and every morning I'm doing my exercises and um, I'm, I, it feels so good to have like a bit, some basic principles around Shiatsu for, you know, it's really wonderful to do with children and, um, you know, your partner. And so it's just really, really cool how um, within the course, you're actually learning all these kind of tangential aspects of holistic health as well, or I shouldn't even say tangential, right? They're just interconnected. So, um, but on to the next question. So Suzanne, well, question. Um, well, yes, yeah. Suzanne, I just read that. Let me read it out <laughs> to everybody from Suzanne. I'm a vegan not interested in any of the vegetarian or meat eating classes. Can I pass on from those classes? So here's the good news, uh, Suzanne. In all of our classes, even up to Nam Singh's class, for instance, he makes uh, the number one convalescing food on this planet, and it's called a juk. The basis of that is just rice with a lot of water, but you learn how to get a good stock in there and, and uh, fermented foods and herbs so that this is what brings people back to life. Now, whenever we're doing our classes, we also, for instance, he, the stock that he would use could is one type of stock he uses as chicken stock for those who are comfortable with meeting. And then in a separate pot, he uses a vegetable stock. So we're constantly doing dishes that are for everybody. It's a non-exclusive approach. You know, we're non-exclusive. Don't ever let food put a dividing line between you and your loved ones, your relatives, your community, the culture that you live in. That's my advice to you, Suzanne. Don't do that, right? And so we don't do that. We, but, and, and the good news is we actually cater to the vegans and the vegetarians uh, in our classes. So. In those, all of those weekends, there's dishes that you can eat and, and celebrate, right? And, and very importantly, you're learning those energetics, which is very, very important for the vegan community. They're only starting to wake up that the, you know, that the vegan uh, uh, diet is a very yin diet. And what happens is people get a lot of cold symptoms, diarrhea, uh, paleness, all sorts of things. So you've got to learn the energetics there. Very, very important. And you can do that in a vegan way, but you, you know, there's, there's a little bit more for you to learn than just what, you know, they're proclaiming on the books and uh, the internet, you know, about being vegan. This, you have to go a little bit deeper and understand the five elements, yin and yang, and the herbs and some of the supplements and the cooking styles, right? to get that uh, chi yang warming energy back, right? So I highly, so the good news is, uh, Suzanne, we, we're non-exclusive, it's for everybody, and um, we cater, uh, we compensate. Um, uh, so a lot of the dishes to begin with are vegan, vegetarian, and then we, you know, there's only one or two dishes further on with fish and then even with Nam Singh's classes, there's vegan, vegetarian, and meat dishes, you know, for you to be thinking about, eating, experiment, talking about, uh, et cetera. Let's do a next question. Any in questions there that you've read, uh, Eden, that we should cover? Um, yeah, so China Daniel asked, will you be able to enroll online any other time than after October? China, that's a great question. Um, just to give you a little bit of context. So historically, we've run in person in New York City classes starting every October. We also have a school now in London that starts um, in March, but that's a that's different. Um, but then Rogers also offered um, the program as an online course this whole time. 
as well. Um, but it is more just the recordings of the classes and of course the cur curriculum as well. And you also have an invitation to take part in the student forum and um, receive a little bit of extra support. The benefit of joining um, in October is really, uh, especially for folks who could use a little bit of accountability and just support and really want to feel like they're a part of a community and like they're taking this seriously and this is going to be what they are doing, you know, a, a big part of their life in the next year um, and so if, if you're one of those people then I would encourage you to try to join um, in October um, but if you're more flexible and down with more of a self-guided journey then you can definitely join at a later date um, just online as well yeah nicely put uh, there's a question here from Eddie what are the main authors that align most with the teachings of the school or most frequently taught authors books at the school? We have a fairly extensive um, reading list, but we do point out, you know, a nice sort of half a dozen uh, books. And don't forget, we've got the famous Letha Hefferday here. Unfortunately, Letha, I know you're there, but unfortunately, we've set this up as a webinar, not a meeting. We can't get you live uh, to talk. Uh, about uh, your involvement. <laughs> uh, next time, we're, we're going to do another orientation for sure, and we'll, we'll have you on board, Letha. So in answer to Eddie's question, we do have, you know, we have about six to ten books that we, um, you know, highlight, uh, but we do have an extensive reading uh, list. But however, you don't need to start there. You, you start with our um, targeted course materials up on the online classroom that you download as PDFs and you read them as you go along for each module. Right. Yeah, um, just to touch on that really quickly, the curriculum was probably, I mean, I had a lot of favorite aspects of the course, but the curriculum is, um, it's so rich and it's like you're not only learning these amazing recipes that you never would have learned otherwise most likely um but it really it just is a holistic curriculum so you're going also on a spiritual journey you're talking about energetics um you know there's all these really helpful charts um so it's something and it's and it's thick too so you uh by joining our online program in october you will get um, all of it in PDF form, so you don't have to pay extra for it, but you would just print it out. Um, and and it's, it's a thick curriculum, and so it provides plenty of incredible reading material that will keep you very, very occupied. And then if you want to go deeper in any particular subject, um, I remember that's, it's interesting, Eddie, that's one of the questions that I remember asking uh, Roger and Nam Singh um, in one day, and, and I have a long list of books that they recommended. So um, I'm sure that, uh, you know, he can get to that at some point down the road. But I just want to also assure you that, the, as Roger was saying, the curriculum itself is super rich, dense reading material, and dense in a, in a not an intimidating way. Um, it's even if you're not like a huge reader, it, it's just a very fascinating curriculum. So. There's a lot there. So I think it's 7.30 and um, I don't see any more questions rolling in. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. It's info at academyhealingnutrition.com. Um, chances are, if you're on this webinar, you're receiving our emails. If you're not, please join our email list. But um, You'll be able to, if you access any of our latest emails, we'll also be sending a couple more this week because the uh, August 31st deadline is rapidly approaching. Um, and that's your opportunity to save an extra $500 off tuition. So um, if you are interested and um, you know, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and either submit your deposit or book a call. Um, if, you, if you touch base with us um, you know, and you wanna talk deeper about something or you have an issue or anything, just give us a call and um, we'd love to connect with you. We have a really, really amazing group forming um, from around the world this year. And so I think within crisis, there's always opportunity. And although this year has been quite a disruptive year for many, um, I think we're really excited at the opportunity of connecting um, this global community from around the world and, and learning from one another. Wonderful, Eden. Well, uh, so we might uh, 
say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So they can sign up. Uh, 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 they can actually sign up in the on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, you just follow the you know enroll here, and you can actually you know our uh, website processes your credit card, and you have the option there of just paying a six hundred dollar deposit, which gets you in. Or you can pay for it in full, which you get another five hundred dollars uh, off, etc. Any questions? Just email us. And um, guys, thanks for showing up. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye, Roger. I hope, to, uh, I hope to meet some of you online uh, later this year, and then in person, <laughs> the old-fashioned way, <laughs> next year. <laughs> One day soon. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Ciao.